Well, I would normally say a very warm welcome to the channel, but uh, it's not that warm at the moment. We are up at uh, Logan's Pass on the Going to the Sun Road because we're going to go and do a hike today. Now, um, we got up extremely early this morning and rode up here on the bikes, as you could see from the beginning of the video. And we're now going to go and do the Highline hike, which is supposed to be completely out of this world, spectacular views. So stay with us. This is going to be an absolutely awesome video. What? You're gonna, are you going to complain today? I am not going to complain today. <laughs> No, there's no being grouchy. We're going to be very well behaved and we're going to enjoy ourselves okay. on this extremely long hike. So I've just thought, Denise. Yes. So, <clears throat> if your channel is called Soaring Together, is this Eagle One? It could be. Yeah? <laughs> if the President of the United States can have Air Force One, Air Force one. you can have Eagle, Eagle One. There you go. Right, have we got everything, Amanda? Yep, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Let's have at her. Really early this morning <laughs> <laughs> to do this trail. The highlight. No, it wasn't really, really early. We actually got up before we went to bed, Ricky. Oh, no. oh that's what it felt like, anyways. What time job would be? Uh, I don't think we went to bed till about 11 and, and I was up at yeah. 10 to 4. The Highline Trail? The Highline Trail? Yeah. It's bad enough having one. I don't know if I Wow, look at that view down the valley. Isn't that something? I don't think we've ever been this close to one, man. We're usually quite a ways away from them on the road as we're travelling. That's cool. Wow, oh, <coughs> look at this. <laughs> We're about, what, four or five hundred feet above the road and going on a, a goat trail. Yeah, you do not want to be falling down there, Denise. No. Uh uh. Well, so far, this has to be one of the coolest hikes we've ever done. Uh, for the views and the, the scary bit here, because the, uh, the drop off to my left hand side is straight down. And I would say it's probably, yeah, at least six, 600 feet vertical. Scary. Are you okay, Mans? <clears throat> Just Mandy's don't really like heights, do they? No. D don't look down, no. Oh man, look at that. I would say anybody that suffers from vertigo badly would not want to do this trail. It would uh, probably freak them out. What keeps it from just breaking away to the road? Another gnarly section, man. Gnarly section, is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, look at it, that here. That's a long way down. Well, Ricky, I have to say, you completely knocked it out of the park with this trail. Oh, man. Andy, you ought to know that I didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> I was just saying to Denise that, you know, we've lived in the Rockies, the Canadian Rockies for 20 years now but these vistas from here absolutely blows away and you know even though we live with it every day 
That view over there is spectacular. So you know what this reminds me of? Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but when we were in New Zealand and we went and did that, that really long hike. That is a long hike. So when we were in New Zealand, we did this, this walk along the coast and it was goat trail. In fact, some of the goat trails were even thinner than this it one. It was really thin. And uh, that was about 16 miles that we did in that day. Yeah, and then we thought, oh, it was we just. Thought you could do a loop. No. no so we had to turn around and come back. We got to this beach and it was like in the middle of nowhere. And there was just one person there. And we said, can you, know, can you go on the road and get, and they said, no, you gotta go back that way. That was a long day. That was a very long day. It's at this part that you really do feel like Gandalf and the Hobbits in Lords of the Rings. Lords of the Rings? Lord of the Rings. On the trail up to Mordor. And uh, you've just got this tiny little thin goat track and you're walking along the side of the rocks just waiting for a, an attack by the hawks. And what is so, so cool about this trail is the variation in the terrain. Uh, you're going through forest one second and then you're into open pasture and the flora and fauna changes by the second. It really is worth coming and checking this out. So the further you go along this trail, the vistas just get more and more impressive. I, I'm blown away, absolutely blown away by it. So at this point we're about five or six miles in and because it's not, uh, you, the, the elevation rise is not that much so you're just more or less on the flat which makes this trail just, just something special. Oh there she is, admiring the vista. I know, it's just out of this world isn't it? Come, come and take a seat. Well, if you poop, let's stop and have a drink and uh, right. have a rest and take in this vista. I think I need to get in between a rock. And sun. now we're into the sunshine, yay! And I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a bit of an incline there, and then you get right over there, do a switch back, and we climb all the way right up there and hopefully there is a mega vista when we get up there. Here we are, we're at the switchback. Yeah, so we up. now just turn around, start going the other way. Well not exactly turn around, just start heading towards the sun as away from away from the sun. Ricky and Denise there. Denise hey. getting some photographs of the flowers. I just have to have my hiking across the snow fix. What was that? I said I can't believe how heavy that backpack is. Oh you should feel the weight of mine. <laughs> I've got about three gallons of water or something in there. Hey look we're nearly to the summit. So I think this is what they classify as the big reveal. And as we come to the summit, <laughs> this is a reveal. And now we're starting to head down. We've just peaked the summit, if you want to put it that way. 
and now we start our descent down the trail. Yeah, we've got to cross the snow here. Who's going first, Denise or Ricky? Ricky's going to do it. Whoa, careful! Take your time, Denise. You go next, man. I go next. Okay, stir as far right as you can. Are you sure? No. Well, I don't mind. Here, get hold this. Oh, it's a marmot. It's 20 inches. A marmot, right there. Is he pausing? No, he is. Another one. Denise just getting a real nice close up shot of him. Come up back. Now look man, that's Denise doing exactly what I do, which is walk down somewhere, talking to herself. Yeah. Just like we do in the video. The mosquito is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> She's complaining about mosquitoes. We've now left the chalet and we've got a four mile hike. Thankfully, thankfully it's downhill all the way. Yeah. So, I can't tell you, can't tell you how up I am about that. I really did not fancy any more uphill jaunts. I don't know whether you can see these things flying around us, but if you do come and do this trail, you need bug spray and fly spray and whatever else spray you can get your hands on, because the bugs are awful. We're still pretty high. I, think I need some water. Huh? Yeah. No, we're still pretty high. So, do you remember um, the Hannah? Hanna, Hanna, I was born in 1963. <laughs> do you remember the Hanna Barbera wacky races cartoon Penelope with, with Penelope Pitt Stop and Dick Dastardly and Muttley? And when Muttley got him out of the fix, he'd always ask for a Muttley medal and he'd go, "Give me, give me, give me, give me." So we've decided that when you complete this, you are going to get a Muttley medal. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't make out what you were saying. You're screaming, horses, horses. Oh, right, horses. Mules, donkeys. Hey, good. Is that the provisions for the chalet at the top? No, this was all for the fire lookout at the top. Ah, oh, oh, the fire lookout. That's, that makes sense. We wondered what it was up there. We've been up there. We're going down now. I've just realised what we should have done was said to those lovely people, hey, any chance of a ride down and thumbed a lift with them? Nah, we'd rather walk. Well, I don't think we're that far now, Ricky. Maybe a couple of miles. Are you doing okay, girls? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a little downhill. Yay, we're at the creek, so we know that we're pretty close now. The only thing is that the... Uh, <laughs> The shuttle bus leaves, uh, the last shuttle bus leaves at 4.30 and it is now quarter after four. So we really have to get our skates on to make sure that we're gonna get back up to Logan Pass to pick the bikes up. And thank Thank the Lord we have made it. Man, that was a haul and a half. And that brings us to the end of the video. I am absolutely exhausted. And I'm not gonna say anything else. <laughs> okay, so as usual, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing. Give us a big fat thumbs up and join us in the next video where we're going to be going whitewater rafting okay thanks very much indeed and we'll see you in the next one bye bye now